Hello there, my lovely legionnaires. How are we doing today? I hope you like our funny little church hymns. You're just gonna have to listen to that for a second. Is it religious trauma o'clock, or am I just imagining? Oh no, it's defo religious trauma o'clock. The fuck's my volume mixer? I'm turning you the fuck down. I'm sorry. I wasn't real. I didn't realize I was that loud. Or did you mean the game? I don't. It could be me. I don't. <laughs> uh. Probably the game. Probably. No. No. I. I. I, I no, it's fine. I, I, I tapped the top of my microphone when I checked. I said yes, the game. Shit. <laughs> I muted my mic for a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. <God. laughs> I'm I'm so smart. Don't even don't even look at me. Don't 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 talk to me. I'm. <laughs> Window capture. The <laughs> fuck with those. <laughs> Fucking over here talking like sparks the dragonfly until you said window capture. And we have to play. We have to play this game again. Why again? Wait, hang on. It, will it work like it did before if I just do that? Probably not. Properties. <sighs> Can you hear it? Oh wait, no, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna get this to the person who bought it now. Just gotta add my fucking watermark. Do we do we hear the weird spooky music? Is it working? Machine, have you taken a photo next to the funny rock? Machine, have you taken a photo next to the funny rock? <laughs> no, I know, wrong, 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 wrong religious trauma game, I know, but still. Let me... Alright. There you are. I've muted so many ads on on Twitter. I'm just getting the weird shit now. Oh, do you do you do you also like to play that game where like you'll block every ad you get to see how long until Twitter starts advertising you the weird shit? So I've been getting AI. I've been getting other stuff. I'm like, nope, goodbye. You should be able to hear it now. It, XP to level 3, you didn't have to make a Fallout RPG system. It's called GURPS. It's called... It's called what? It's called GURPS. GURPS. Oh. I... Uh, wow. <laughs> uh, that's a... That's tell a word. Me, tell me if you can hear it. I'll see if I can hear it in call. That's tell a word. Me, tell me if you can hear it. Oh, yeah, I can hear it on the call share screen. Yeah, but can you hear it on the stream? Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me chat. It's registering that it's playing. I don't I know can... what it is about... I know I have issues with this, too, because, like, I don't keep my volume very high in my headphones, and that I... makes it impossible for people to hear shit through OBS, despite how much I turn it up. I turned the stream audio on real quick. I I could hear the same title music in the stream playback, so. Yeah, yeah no, that's, I think... what, that's all you, yeah, 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 yeah. If you can hear, if you can hear low spooky music, that's what you're supposed to be able to hear. Okay, good. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Exactly. I'm glad I had my uh I'm glad I had the stream tab open. 
because now I live in a place where I can do that without throttling my internet. So I tend to do that whenever I'm in stream calls so I can give viewership and support to the person I am in the call with. Low ad. Save and low Ooh. ad. Okay. We're back at it again oh, this, at Krispy Kreme. It's that RPG Maker game you were playing yeah. the other day. Yeah, I know. Rad. Wait, hang on. What were we... Oh. I have to send this con to the person who bought it because I finished it. Oh, we were going to the... Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We were going to the... They're sick. Epic, dope anime tits. All right. What was that? Okay. So it wasn't there. <sighs> was it here? It was here. What? Wait. No. Was I leaving? Is that what I was doing? Oh, yeah. James said he wasn't going to be here today, so I should pull up this stream on my, on my end. I played this last week. Why is it locked? Yeah, so it's this room. Uh, let me... <sighs> I'm gonna... I'm also just dumb as hell, so like... You know, I should probably, while I'm in this call, I should probably work on the thing that I need to have done tomorrow. Lamau. You're probably smart. Yeah, no, it'd definitely be smart. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, your toad's right. Is it this room? Yeah, it's this room. I love doing so much that I get caught up in it. <laughs> then I have to do this. I wonder what's so special about this room. There are various stages of decomposing rats. Gross. I love the lighting. Yeah, the fucking art direction, the art and sound direction so far, pretty pog. We were we were talking about that earlier. Something horrible you know, if... was done to children in here. You know, as someone who's spent a good year and a half coding in RPG Maker, you think I'd be aware of how much you can do with the engine, but... Listen, I've heard nothing but horror stories about how bad RPG Maker is to work with. Ugh, trust me about it. Why do, you, why, why do you think my game project's in development hell for the last three years, Lamau? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave. Someday. I, I, I promise, someday. Well, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I'm do I'm I'm doing randomized D and D characters and uh. Door's locked. We're dead. Okay. Actually, speaking of horror games, mm -hmm. actually, Eden. Yeah. Are you excited for Crow Country? By the way. Oh, uh, do you mean Catastrophe Crow? No, Crow, no, Country. Crow Country. I don't, I'm not familiar with that one, I don't think. Maybe I am. Oh, I, well, I, well I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'll have to send you the Steam page, because I think you'd like it. It's coming out next month, too, so. It's great uh, transitional, it just teleports me to the middle of it. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I'll just put that in our DMs, you can check that whenever. No Let rush. Me pop my, thank you. Let me pop my... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is the door so maybe it's like that. Diamond store. Okay. I assume you meant pop my walkthrough or something like that. Like, because I 
when you said pop mine and ended the sentence, my brain inserted pussy. And I'm like, no, that can't be right. <laughs> no, my, yeah, my walkthrough. Your walk for wussy. My walk for wussy. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> uh, I must have let the event play out. Because it's working just fine. Then we go to... Go to stairs with laundry is and enter the main basilica. Okay, so <sighs> I have to go... Okay. How nice of the developer to include a walkthrough on the download page. I got, I got artificial fish, so, you know, it's big daddy time, I guess. <laughs> Many shades of fandom has been hell of a boss. I have something ironic that has to do with MTG. I'm, uh, not, but you can tell me anyway. Uh, also, uh, if it's any consolation, I am. So maybe I'll find it funny. We do know about sure. Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku! I'm also a fan of that. I'm a fan of a lot of things. Gems? Garlic? Oh, this is like Italy for sure. It's called being neurodivergent. Yeah. Oh, oh it's called being neurospicy. <laughs> I'm like spicy water, or as the layman's call it, Sprite. For the first level first, work our way up. Okay. Whatever you say, Riker. Oh. Oh, weird. What? <laughs> oh my lord, Terraman, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, we're we're saving. That is so funny. Thank you, Terramoon, for that info. I'm sorry, hello? Is that an eyeball? Eyeball door? H hello? Heaton is, Heaton, is this your house? No, the clock tower is a little less biblical. It's only on a, it's only on the Bahamut days. Yeah. Is that the velvet? That looks like the door for the velvet room. No Igor here. Well, huh. Welcome to the velvet room. You don't. You don't say. Yeah. There's a painting of a church on a grassy field hanging above you. Yeah, I can see that. Various books collect dust here. You purposely avoid touching them because there's a few dead bugs on them. Gross. This is this a coffin? Stone coffin. Taking notes that there's no dust in the lid. You feel intrigued to look inside. The lid is tightly cra slightly cracked open. Open the coffin. We. Oh. Sonic on lease. <laughs> no way. No way these are real. Careful examination and double takes. What's inside is an almost shining beacon of hope. Neat, thick stacks of money entirely fill up the coffin. No one just forget something like this, right? I can't justify taking anything from this room. Best to leave this alone. But, but... I'm Audi 9000! Must be something unique to this room. If I had to use a key to get in. Bruh! Looking closely, you notice that the wallpaper here looks off, like it's hiding something under its skin. Something sharp can cut the wallpaper here. Oh, the ramble, maybe? Yeah! Following this border, you cut into the wallpaper with the ram horn. It successfully cuts, and after tearing the wallpaper down, a hidden door is revealed. A crack forms in the ram horn. Must be delicate. They are. Where did they hide this door? Nearly impossible to see what's behind the door. All you see is a staircase leading upwards. Go in. So, is this originally in French? No, it's uh, our protagonist. It's just French. Oh, okay. He's committed the grievous bodily sin of being French. That's not a sin. Being British is the sin. Come on. It can be both. Two things can be sins at once. The door locked behind me. Is that a photo? PNG. Of a deer? <laughs> Listen, game devs work with what they have. No, I no, I love when PNG show up in games. What it's a, the best. What a PNG. It's a file here with French writing. It was another photograph. The title says the unexplained surrounding the rest is covered with duct tape. You open the first page, it's heavy on text. 
quickly glancing over some paragraphs, you notice a familiar trend in words, the numbers 8 and 11. They're scribbled all over the pages, making some of the text difficult to read. The two numbers just repeat and repeat and repeat. List of tragedies, supernatural occurrences that happened at 8, 11, or PM, AM or PM cover an entire page. Flipping to the next several pages don't help. Everything just gets uglier. Soon you begin to flip to pictures of corpses. Nothing is censored. Cracked open heads, punctured organs, mutilated corpses, drowned, blo drowned bloated remains are shown. Every caption under these images reads that these people died at the time of... 8 11 a.m or p.m flipping through more pages doesn't help disturbingly there's only one more there's only more pages similar to the ones before it suddenly there's a page that stops you a two-page spread just the numbers 8 11 oh i didn't catch that i didn't do that i didn't hit enter it's a clock glass from the window light shattered around it picking it up and investigating you notice something about odd about the placements of the hands on the clock it's exactly 8 10 on this clock it has to be old with dead batteries or something that can't be that late right Looking over at your wristwatch, the hands on it speed up. It's impossible, but it really is happening without your control. The hands speed up, and the time it reads is 8.10 when it's done. What the hell? That noise! It sounds like a radio? Where's it coming from? You quickly look back at the clock in your hands. The numbers begin to melt. The hands turn to liquid and melt as well, and the object begins to seep through your hands. The watch on your wrist creates the same effect, melting away on your wrist and becoming sludge on the floor. My watch is melting?! The clock and my watch say the time is 8.11pm, but that's impossible! It's not supposed to be 8 at night! The sun was still setting when I was just outside! The lights! Oh. I think I remember seeing candles on the table by the window in here. I should try to use those for a light source. Oh. Uh, uh... Oh! Huh? Hey! Who are you? Hey, wait, who are you? Church bells? I heard her in my ear. Um... What the hell is happening? Where did that come from? I'm gonna... Oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. How come every time you say I'm getting out of here, they won't let you leave? <laughs> I'm, getting the, I'm getting the fuck out of here. This place is weird and creepy and I don't like it here. I'm leaving. Hidden running like Hidden running like she got that them fake J's. Running like they owe me money. I'm out! <laughs> what happened back there? My ears still hurt from all the large noses I heard. Wait a minute. The door! The door that was here is gone! Also it's flipped. The room yeah, is flipped. Yeah, I, I was about to say. Not only that, this room looks completely different from what I remember. My watch, it's it's back to normal, but it says it's 545? Where did that person go? I swear I saw someone! Why is, uh, the room flipped? We went down I the know, you know that I'm not telling the truth. I know. The, the wall looks like it's covered in pineapples. Really sharp cut on the wallpaper behind the flowers. It looks like a pineapple under a pineapple under a pineapple, pineapple under, under a pineapple. A pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> Heaton, fuck this shit, I'm out. Don't mind me, I'm just screw on my stuff and leave. Yeah, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, goodbye! This is not the door to darkness! <laughs> Just leave, just leave the fake fucking, uh, mirror, mirror tomb of annihilation. You can get out. You duck your head and enter the crawl space. There's a large collection of Virgin Mary Claire dolls in this room. Many different color, size, details, but they all look so carefully handmade. I hear these are stored in this room, only located in what seems to be inside the walls of the basilica. Well, wait, those look like windows or doors. Maybe I only accidentally discovered a new entrance to this room? You study the windows more. Look a bit dusty, but the other room is just the lights off, so it's difficult to see what anything on the other side. You glance back over at the Virgin Mary dolls. Curiously picking one up, it crumbles in your palms. Oh, that's not good. You attempt uh, to put the doll like back, that. but the clay figure just breaks even more. It's clay, so I'd probably need glued it. I love that this game does that, where it'll, like... It'll cut off as you're reading for a thing to happen, so it's like, I didn't finish the thought! Thank you. There's a man behind those doors. I heard something, uh... I heard something break. What did you break? Uh... What the hell? Who was that? I'm gonna leave! I'm gonna that, leave! That looked gonna like a character! fucking leave! That. I almost just took that guy for a ghost. That looks... That was someone. I heard someone walking outside the room. Is someone behind the door? You attempt to open the door. It's locked. Uh, not locked necessarily, but... It feels like someone's on the other side of the door, holding the door shut. Carefully and with slight hesitation, you look over the doorknob. 
The door slightly cracks open due to the pressure. Ah! Suddenly a hand emerges from the depths and grabs you. Within a second, you're pulled out of the room and thrown on the floor. Your eyes open and you see a tall man towering over you. Must have been the one to grab you. The basilica was so dark before, but now it's painfully bright. Huh? I'm sorry, I don't understand. His accent is making it difficult to understand him. Sorry, can you repeat that? I don't speak good- Ugh! Who in the hell do you think you are? Trespassers like you used to be hung on the highest branch here. A priest! You're a priest! Wait, are there still any priests even in this town? What? What are you doing here? Your eyes focus on the item in his left hand. It's the Mary Clay doll you broke moments ago. The Mary doll! Sir, that was truthfully my wrongdoing. I apologize for breaking it. What? So you are the one that broke this. These are difficult to make, you know. And you're just breaking them? Uh, I'm sorry, I broke it by accident. It was dark in there. Did you say you make them? Yes. It was beautifully made. I think we can fix it if maybe... I don't care anymore. It is beyond repair. I didn't do it on purpose. I don't mean any disrespect to the place, but y you're a priest. I haven't seen a priest right on since I got here. What about it? You're a religious man too? A son of God? That I am. You're a follower of Elohim? That sounds familiar. Rook, you read the Bible? Who's Elohim? Is that somebody? Is that a name? I- Don't ask me! I don't know! Dumb idea of YouTubers, PNG YouTubers, and cheesy movie flicks have Heaton's smart enough to just leave. Yeah, I'm out! I'm out, gamer! I know! The word Elohim is a is a grammatically plural noun for gods or deities. Oh, okay. Uh, yes, um, I've been- HA! Then you'd know this would be looking at you with disappointment, right? It's unwise to trespass into places you shouldn't be in. This may be a house of God, but we don't welcome just any broken person in here and offers a service to them. This place is closed. I don't know how to make that any more obvious to you trouble-seeking, unwelcome, annoying cockroaches. Well, shark attacks occur about ten feet from the beach, because that's where the people are! We have signs everywhere. Are you f blind? Is that a swear word you use here? I still have questions for him, though. I um, got jump scared by the piano keys in the background. Uh, listen, when I first made my plans to come here to Rosso, there weren't any notices that this place was shut down. I mean, minus the locals telling me. You know why it's- We're closed. Have been for years. Leave! Leave, leave, leave! This is my home. I didn't invite you here. I'm allergic to the French. <laughs> my god. Relatable content. <laughs> what the hell is he on? How long has this place been closed? Twelve years. Twelve? All you do is put up at signs at the gate? I wasn't aware. I'm not from here. It's a low level of decay for twelve years of neglect. Information this old hasn't been updated on anything. And? In your hometown, is okay to trespass into abandoned buildings with signs that say you are unwelcome? No, not really. And what kind of excuse is that? You're trespassing to find someone. They're not here. Leave, damn it. You don't even live here. Or is it that your friend came here and is now one of the missing? Um, I'm not sure if I want to tell this stranger the reason behind- the trauma behind my reasoning. Good dumb trauma dump on this random man who's yelling at you. Well, my friend came here several years back. Only just last year he went, um, missing. I don't believe the rumors about the place. I want to find my friend or information about them at least. Don't believe in them. Don't believe that the bodies buried under us won't haunt you? There's more people buried here than at the local cemetery. No tour guide will tell you that, though. These aren't just conspiracies. I'm talking about father. I'm talking about father. I've been here since this place opened. The amount of dust and candle wax and bloody nails I've had to clean it- Ugh! How many people have died here just to justify such burial situations? Are you a father or a journalist? This place has a history of death and bad luck. Why are you here? Wouldn't you not be scared and... Is it rude to ask if you live here? I want to preserve the history here. I've been saving money to one day clean this place up and bring it back into working order. Come to think of it, the money from the coffin. Does anyone else live here besides you? Piss off! Why aren't you off my property yet? Please, I think you can help me. Are there any records of names or a list of people who stayed here? What's it to you, huh? I already told you the answer. Records of any kind were destroyed. There's no reason for you to stay. You should be on your way. Huh? You took a rosary from here? So you're just... What? A thief! You, deal you dare steal under the eyes of... 
You trespassed into our god's house and mark him by stealing his goods! I've discovered corpses with skin pulled so tight every muscle and bone was exposed. I've had to deal with the bodies of lost tourists like you in the past. You know what Rosso and used to do with thieves in the past? Any idea? Sanctuary! I claim sanctuary! It was wrong of me! I can put it back! I don't want it now! I'm sure that when the curse catches up to you, the necklace will be returned to the rightful spot. I'll put it back! If I were you, I would enjoy your next three weeks while you can. Walls do not give a damn about your sanctuary. The last man who didn't believe me was discovered by police hanging in confessional. CONFESSIONAL?! Wait, sir! I still have questions to ask. The one priest I find and he's crazy! I don't see a point in chasing after him. I spent so much money trying to get here, I won't let him just scare me away tomorrow. With the sun setting, I need to focus on getting a place to stay for the time here in Rosso. I dropped the book! <sighs> you wander back to town looking for some place to stay. <sighs> I dropped the fucking book! Nigger! You had one job! <laughs> Give me one moment, I need to use the bathroom real quick. <laughs> you had one job! You were supposed to look after that stupid Bible! You had one job! Unfucking believable! Jesus Christ! It's a name for God. God didn't want me taking cool stuff. He shouldn't have given me cool stuff to take. Daddy, chill. Gothic looking store. Mars closed. Who are you? Guy strongly reeks of weed. In fairness, he looks like a gentleman who would strongly reek of weed. Okay, so I can't go there. Some really good music. Motel, could try and stay here. I'll have to see what the rates are. That much for every night here? I don't know if I- This is the only one to hold make in this area. Okay, I'll take whatever room's ready right now. Alright, I only have five nights here. If anything, could set up a shelter in a park or a forest around here like we used to. Any progress? I save progress. I see what is here. To be, this is my room. Why? What a huge room! I've never had such a big room to myself before. It's a journal that keeps updated as you progress throughout the game. Tape? Leave your cassette tape player here. Here you can listen to any audio tapes you find. TV was left on. I'm so stressed, you could really use a cigarette right now. Make sure they're still in my bag. Fix that hole I found while I'm at it. Huh? Please don't tell me. Oh fuck! No, no, no! I, I lost Leon's Bible! It's nowhere in my bag or this room! Where did I lose it? You fucking idiot! You can't be trusted! Where could I have left it? I should get it before it's too late. Good job, dumbass! You had one job, Riker! One! Alright, I'm back. You stupid little shitter. What? I swear to god, I had one job. So I assume Riker, <coughs> Riker realized that he dropped the, bi the, the Bible. He did realize that he dropped the Bible. You dare question the words of the mighty Jimmy? I'm just here investigating my the death of my friend by, you know, by looking, by using, going also, to his old basilica to, so, that I can, anyone else? so that I can protect his shit and I've lost his fucking Bible! Anyone else think Riker looks like a JoJo character? A little bit.
I make the same joke every game. You you mock me for saving at every doll for at every point, but I have played RPG Maker Horror Game. I am going to do that. Why are you talking like that? I'm feeling your angel's painted next to the sailor man. It's supposed to be an angel? Oh, cool. So I've had him noticing. Hopefully he hasn't found Leon's survival yet. Damn, I must have locked it. Maybe if I walk around and find another interest. Oh, wait. I remember reading that when this place was built, numerous hidden routes were created. There has to be a secret engine that I can get access to. Oh, no, I could see that, Daedalus. I can definitely get the vibe from the character sprite art style. Why you'd feel that. Oh, I'm like a girl in this character. You are correct. <laughs> we all live on a plastic beast, let me tell you that much. A caution tape at the entrance. Okay. Don't know where it leaves. Something about the door makes a hair on your neck and arm stand up. Guy says you can access the main areas of the basilica from underground. Through the catacombs, there's writing on this entrance. It doesn't make sense to me. Regardless of how I feel, I need to get Leon's Bible back. Walking past the yellow caution tape, you remember reading the history pamphlet from the gift shop. The underground network of tunnels were never part of the original design of the basilica. These complex hallways were discovered one morning by a group of nuns. Holy officials uncovered a newly constructed door in the cement ground. Many brave volunteers... Ooh, I like that. Throughout the town explored the complex tunnels like a calling from God. They flocked and offered services and tools for the church. Shortly after the catacombs were renovated, well-preserved bodies of holy officials were sealed within the walls and floorboards of the basilica for religious beliefs. Many priests and nuns and other holy associates have asked to be buried and kept under the church that gave them purpose in life. With a maze-like design, many people get lost in the basilica. Different causes are suspect, from starvation, suicide, foul play, or even the angel of death. All newly discovered bodies are now fed to cattle close on site. Catacombs are reserved for the elite holy associates and burial purposes. Cemetery is full. The catacombs are reserved. Please keep watch of your special loved ones. The church holds no liability for those who end up missing or dead. Some writing carved into the wall. The writing's ruined probably due to lack of care and age. It's possible to read. Artwork is displayed along this wall. How it was made remains mysterious. It's a large building with a gathering of people outside it. The anonymous artist behind this piece used their hands to paint a shield surrounding the building. Artwork is displayed along the wall. How it was made remains mysterious. It's a group of people holding babies above them. They are dancing deer. Uh, a skeleton dressed in fancy robes is tearing the flesh off a deer. The animal's red, vibrant muscles are exposed. The more you look at the drawing, you notice the deer has human fingers instead of hooves. Awful. Gross. Weird. Art stands out from the others, as this is obviously graffiti. There's some words surrounding the art, similar to a halo, saying the unholy ones cannot be saved. More text towards the bottom say, unbaptized souls don't get unnoticed. Art is aged so badly it's impossible to explain what you're seeing. It's clearly a skeleton of some variety. This place uh, sucks and is creepy. Yeah, and we already know uh, creepy catacombs and the French are not a combination I like being around. No, I'm 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 also not distinctly not a fan of um, of catacombs or the French. There's a severe crack in this doll. You can't save here. Cool. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Is that what I meant? <laughs> it may not have been what you meant. God damn. Grow rotten tomatoes and grapes here. You leave them alone. Weird. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I will mock the stream French is, eternally. This stream is just he didn't mock the French for two hours. It's true. Welcome to the 811 streams where I sit here and mock the French. Large Mary <laughs> statue. Oh, I can save it the large one. I will be doing that. I love when games have like unique I like iconography for the save points. Ah! Oh, it's a drawing. Ah! Sounds like something broke. Not again. That's a very. I was about. I was gonna be so fucked up because I thought the Mary statue broke. Oh! I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm out. Hello? It'd be horrible. If there was like an intense moment and then it was like you can no longer save. Little red man? Yeah, wasn't that there? Like, I swear I saw that. Did, did, did it just disappear? Little red like guy? He appears to no longer be present. Something shiny reflects from your light. You got an item. Bronze catacombs key. I'm getting the 
fuck out of here, gamer. This place fucking sucks. I hate it. I do not like it. It's like... What the hell? This weird cat head thing is is all over this fucking game so far. Gee, I wonder if it will be important later. Probably. It will probably be very important later. He's with these. I don't know... I don't know when, but it will be important, and I will shit myself. Plush doll of an angel with bear-like characteristics. You're struggling to remember the name of this one. Priest uniform, strong layer of dust on it. And then cassock? Despite everything, I'm still French. <laughs> Not the French. Got a uh, high mortis. No. <laughs> so journal, there's some rubble here. Read it. Do we? You flip through delicately, gentle not to tear anything. All the dates range, but it confirms this journal is at least 20 years old. For some time before I joined the church, ghostly rumors plagued the basilica. It doesn't seem to leave outside the groups that live here, safe to say the least. I call them rumors, however, last night I experienced the ghost stories firsthand. I was roaming the history hall at 2am. I've done this plenty of times, but this was the first night I had such experiences. I swear to you, God, that I was under no influence of wine. Was I under the influence of another, perhaps? An angel? I, li I cannot quite answer that myself. I was passing by the staircase when I heard a low, mumbling voice. I called out to the voice, yet there was no body of origin. It kept calling out my name. I followed the voice, despite the fear that coursed through me, telling me otherwise. But it led me right to a wall. I hesitated for a moment, doubting what I heard earlier. It suddenly and mysteriously stopped. To confirm my senses, I called out to the voice, even knocked on the wood paneling of the wall. All I had on me was a low-lit candle, but there was no reply. I swear I heard the voice call my name. It was ghastly, twisted, yet so welcoming and gentle at the same time. I've never heard something so striking before. Read more? Sure. Some mornings ago, a group of nuns discovered a hole in the wall. They reported hearing the same voice as I heard, but when they tried knocking on the wall, such as myself, they suddenly heard screaming. Everyone in the history hall at the time, which, from what I can gather, was around ten men, took tools to the wall and dismantled it, revealed a secret hole in the wall. Behind our very walls was a tunnel that dug down deep like a maze. One by one, the holy officials sent our man down in. Only some came back, the others disappeared forever. Many claim this to be a reference to something religious. I claim blasphemy. No god has emerged from the tunnels, only that disguises themselves as good and eat our men. I was in the third group, labeled a surge and res rescue party for the first group. The second group never came back. The second group came back, with, but none returned with vocal cords. It was terrifying to traverse these tunnels. The air was cold and slimy, sticking to our faces. The tunnels reminded me of how ant colonies look. We took winding paths and found dead ends. The walls would groan and the walls would, were wet, often creating a sticky residue on our shoes. The basilica created the catacombs for us. It explains the rumbling noises and the shaking from below that occurred every night. She created this for us, and why the church tries to hide that fr fact is beyond me. The rest of the pages are damaged by water, making it impossible to read. Hmm. So they just sort of... Is it blocking the door? So it just sort of, like, spawned into existence is what I'm gathering. That's terrifying, and I don't like that. No. Yeah, it's distinctly spooky. I'm not a fan. Yeah, uh... No. Water? Gold wedding ring. Makes you a bit sad finding something like this down here. Scratch marks on the inside. I think it says a name, but I can't make it out. I think. Something, something, the oh. ant Facebook group. <gasps> the fuck is that? Thank you for finding that. I will leave this item for you in this room as thanks. Do not let it fall into the wrong hands. <sighs> hey, you saw that, right? Hello? I know. Ma'am? I know what you're talking about. Got a gold shovel. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Ontario. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. But what the fuck? Baby. Yeah, no. Child's house dresser. There's a strange ooze leaking out from it. No, I don't like that. That's an imprint of a child. What? Well, I'm. Well, that looked that looked like a liminal space. That'd be too small for someone of your age. I don't like this place. It's real bad. Oh, we're just not gonna the talk about the is... empty crib, sheets, and blankets are a mess. We're not gonna... The vibes in these pennies are awful. Yeah, the vibes in this basilica are uh, absolutely fucking atrocious. I would like to not be here any longer. Thank you. Yeah, no, that, again, that looks like a liminal space. Some random valley with large grassy hills crystal clear lake. 
And then I'll play some ping pong. That sounds nice right now. Fruit in this basket are plastic. Now you realize the grass in this area is fake as well. This is a weird holding cell of some variety. And I don't like it. Yeah, you can fucking... Um... Uh... Okay. <sighs> yeah, uh... Okay. I'm, I'm glad I... I'm glad I could be of some help to you, ma'am, but I don't. The vibes are horrible. I don't know, the music's kind of soothing. I like the music. Like I said, the music and the... I, I keep saying it over and over again, and I'm sorry for the repetition, but the audio design's actually quite nice. Oh, the audio design is great, it's just... I am... Also, like, the one the thing you... The like. Yeah, the one thing you uh, can also say is, this has, uh, this has an atmosphere. Yeah, nah. Yeah. I don't want to be back in here. This place is bad. Okay, hang on. I'm going give... to check the walkie. <sighs> yeah, it kind of gives me a little bit of, like, corpse party or, like, fatal frame kind of vibes. A little bit. Uh, ba 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 catacombs. Plank of wood. Far bottom right. Because to me, I think horror media is at its best when, or at least in terms of interactive horror media, is at its best when the atmosphere is immaculately unnerving. Well, I didn't need to do any of this. Pog, love that. But you did. But I did. Um, Far bottom right. Just like killing James Spector. Just like killing I don't want to kill him. Why do, why, do I gotta, why do I gotta keep killing James Spector? Either that or you kill the milkman. And his milk is delicious. Oh, I gotta be here. Oh, it's maze hours. It's maze hours, chat. Are you excited for maze, maze hours? Maze, 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 maze. Also, why do people want to bone the milkman from That's Not My Neighbor? Yo. I don't want to bone the milkman. Why are no, you I... asking me? But do you know? I, I, I just want to know why. Why do people want to bone no. the milkman from That's Not My Neighbor? Fucking Ontario was like, fucking do you No, I don't. I but don't understand. Fair enough. I just the only person I know who is more knowledgeable about the milkman. And I, when I read you first read talking about them, I thought you were playing Psychonauts. I got the mallet. Okay, now what do I go? Uh... Um, fucking. If I had to take a guess, probably the same reason why people like the. uh the male lead in uh, Lady K and the Sick Man. Far upper left, use the mallet. Okay. I love. We were talking about Lady K and the Sick Man the other day, and I think that it's very funny that uh, on. in all of the oh, that's a thing. I had to Google what that was that you were talking mm -hmm. about. Just now. that's a thing. Yep. Uh, that I think it's funny that uh, I've only like ever seen uh, like I've only ever seen women talk about how badly they want to fuck the sick man as opposed to like men talking about the lady oh god go away oh go away I'm looking at both of them for the first time on my google images right now leave me the fuck alone Hang on. I gotta get past the sick, the sick man looks like Steve Blum would voice him. You are correct. We yeah, have the vibes there. Okay, we're gonna... See, I was thinking, like, Jonah Scott, to be honest. Oh, Lagoshi? Yeah. Oh, I love Beastar. I'm not immune to I'm stereotypes the anyway. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> we're gonna get... I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, I can kind of hear that. He kind of gives me house husband vibes. Fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. Take out the mallet. Bruh! Hit the mallet button! You are- I- you are not gonna out- I- I play- I play Metal Gear! I have to be good at mashing buttons! 
I need to get better at that. I'm about to start Azura's Wrath. Easily both sides of the walls can be touched if your arms are stretched outwards. The ground feels uneven. There's a sound of water dripping, echoing. You come upon a room with a split path. Continue left or right. Oh, God. Uh... Oh, it's back room shit. Wait a fucking second. <gasps> it was made for me! That's right, Barry. It was me. I'm the one who made the holes. Uh, go oh, right. That came out worse than I expected. Water is more obvious from down this path. Water pools into your shoes. Water is thick like mud, seeps into your socks. The water becomes knee height. Heavy mud desperately holds you down, trying to actively stop you, but you persist. You trudge through the water for some time. Gross! Water levels sink lower and lower. It's not mud. Delicate humanoid shadows move on the walls, reacting to your light. You fo your focus shifts to all the plaster flyers and papers. The papers don't properly translate in your mind. None of them make sense. But look for a few warnings for up ahead. <sighs> There's no sense in turning back now. The sound of dripping okay. water is louder now. The sound appears to be right before you. Some pipes on the ceiling have decomposed and collapsed. You come up on a room with another split path. Continue left or right. Uh... Oh, God. <sighs> Gamer! Okay. Uh, good adventurers go left. We'll go left this time. Numerous bug species um. crawl on the walls around you. If you aren't careful, with, we'll bite and pinch your fingers. It dawns on you that the tunnel's becoming smaller. A small wave of claustrophobia hits you. Just keep moving. Ooh, this is really cool. The visual direction on this segment's really neat. Everything down here is uncanny. You look down at your watch and notice that the hands on it have stopped moving. You look ahead and get uncomfortable at how uncertain and dark it is. Despite the paranoid-fueled urge, you look behind you. It looks the same. It all just looks the same. Hold your wristwatch higher, exposing it to the light. You feel like you've been walking for hours, but there's no proof to your claim. The hands on your watch have stopped moving completely. Something feels wrong in the atmosphere here. You stubbornly push at the dense forest of metal pipes. Pipes vibrate and create echoing metal sound when you hit them. Some pipes prove to be more difficult than others. The way they tangle and intertwine with another reminds you of a spider's web. There's a huge p metal pipes ahead. They twist and turn in strange ways. Dull orange light from above casts ghostly shadows crawling on the floor and walls. You watch your own shadow. Struggle against your own pipes you have to get through. Pushing around the pipes, you can't help but notice how these pipes have a strange, soft, and slimy texture when you grab them. You can hear something breathing. You hold your breath. Hold your ear closer to the pipe right beside you. You definitely hear something breathing. It's a sound coming from inside the pipe next to you. Every time the breathing becomes tense or hoarse, the pipe makes subtle, rattling movements. Uh, how about we don't touch that? You ignore it. Yeah, let's not touch the rattling. With. Distance yourself from that pipe. Press yourself up against the sturdy wall behind you. Looking ahead, there's a root system of pipes with no end point in sight. No matter, you, you press on, determined to get out of here and collect Leon's weapon. Okay, we're not going to fuck around and touch that. You walk for some time uh. until you happen upon a sequence of framed photos. There's nothing to explain their purpose. You examine each one out of curiosity. The photos show a group of men covered in dirt, wearing gear similar to that of miners. Hmm. Despite the paranoid-fueled oh. urge, you look behind you. It looks the same. Lengthy cramped halls remind you of the catacombs back in France. You never went on tours for a few reasons. Thinking back on said catacombs, one inevitable fact about them are the graves and skeletal remains that haunt them. Don't think about that. Step into a brightly lit, beautiful path. The walls are gold and have perfectly maintained artwork. Some pipes are like an eyesore in this welcoming atmosphere. You take a step backwards. Such a contrast compared to the halls that came before. Huh? Hello? Oh, shit. Is anyone there? Someone's down here with me? Someone, anyone, please help me! Someone, anyone, please help me! I'm trapped down here and my baby is sick! Please help us! Hello? The desperate human voices echo and rattle the pipes around you. Please help me, I'm stuck down here! Stay there, I'll find you! How far am I going down? But the gratitude stops there, and you realize you're trapped in a dead end, and your light begins to flicker.
You shine your light in all directions. Careful not to panic just yet when you find it. A small cavity in the wall. Oh, God. Oh, you're a better man than me, Riker! At that point, I would have been like, well, fuck. <laughs> the walls feel warm, uninviting, almost wet and sticky. The metal pipes grow smaller in population now, and the hallway feels more open. I'm sorry! Seven days. You pick up the pace. <laughs> Yeah, correct! What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sir? Hello? <laughs> if your voice or your content or your jokes, your streams are some of the only ones I always want to watch. I also love every moment of them. Aw, bun, thank you. Uh, I was simply immune to church horror. It might be because I'm Mexican. I don't know. Please be mud. Blasted brutalist architecture. Also true. The silly man in the wall just wanted to say hi. No. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 We're not walls, doing this. You side of the walls of mirrors that this. reach up from the floor all the way to the ceiling. What's the point We're of not these? doing this. Looking into We're the mirrors for a this. short period of time causes a minor paranoia inside yourself. I shouldn't get distracted. There's a possibility someone's stuck down here. The expectations for finding someone down here is swallowed by doubt and confusion. What could someone be doing down here? With their child? Nevertheless, you press forward. You walk several feet and see an opening in the wall, close to your left side. Curious, you shine a light into the hole. You see a new path. Seems endless, no end in sight. Progress? Oh, yes, please. Yeah, I will be, um... Whoops, didn't mean to go down that far. Uh... uh. Yeah, we will be... We will be doing that. Into the hole, stay on the yeah. path. Um... Yeah, we, we will, in fact, be doing that. Um... Uh, given what I can see of said hole, uh, we will be not doing that. So you can you venture forward. Call to the voice you heard earlier. Hello? Ma'am? There's no response. Much as you want to turn around, you continue forward. You walk for some time, hoping your flashlight won't die anytime soon. Close your eyes as you hit several spider webs. Start walking, trying to wipe off the gross strings. You don't want to admit it. Something about these tunnels feels like it wants you gone. Just then, your left foot doesn't catch on solid ground, but a large opening. You stumble over your feet and fall into a pit. Oh, that's cool. You wake up slow, seeing stars from pain that immediately registers from the head down to your feet. Ow! You slump over on your knees. Sharp pain stabs your neck and shoulders. Immediately, the dangers of the situation settle in. The air's difficult to breathe. It feels like you're struggling to breathe through a filter. But I'm still here. Just how long have I been sleeping? Damn it, I can't find my light. I need to find it. Carefully pat your hands on the stone ground under you. It's dark. Your eyes can't adjust down here. Can't see your own hands in front of your face. You're swallowed by the darkness surrounding you. Your lantern's nowhere to be found. It's wet and moist down here. You feel around, find a slope that could potentially bring you back to before you fell. Attempt to climb back up, but it's slippery. The slope feels like it's made out of ice. It's easy to cut your hands just by attempting to climb back up. Your feet also make the situation worse as they fall into unstable pockets of soil and trap you temporarily. Anytime you make progress, your legs slip and you fall back down to the bottom. You stay at the bottom of the slope, unsure what to do now. Don't panic. Don't freak out. You feel around the floor and walls, praying to find your lantern, a door, a new path. Wait! My matches! I could still have some! You fumble around with your bag. Thank the heavens it's strapped to you. Your match lights up everything for a few moments to find your lantern. It's beat up, but luckily the candle was protected. You successfully light the candle, bringing faith back to in your system. It temporarily sets your mind off the pain in your spine. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, guide me under your blessings. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, guide me under your blessings. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother. Turning a corner, you find a new light source. Carefully, you follow it, praying it provides an exit. You enter a strange corridor. You discover the source of the lights. The lights are coming from various scattered about miners' hats with built-in lights. No explanation for how or why they're working right now. All you care about is leaving. True. Huh? It's kind of weird. Usually, huh. usually you expect to see miners in church. Ah. Why would why would Steve be in a church? 
Oh! We're out. We're out of the pits, chat. Actually, side note, have you ever built a church in Minecraft? Yes. Like, shit's insane. Maybe? I fucking... I, first of all, I love church-based limnal horror because I feel like... I feel like not enough people see, like... Uh, see them as areas of liminal horror, and I think that's cringe because they're so fucking spooky. Like, this is from somebody who has no, like, religious trauma. Like, I've- I've had- Oh, so you also didn't know Take Me to Church was a religious trauma song. Uh, like, who- who doesn't have any, um, like, religious trauma to speak of? Oh, god. As someone who does, you are correct. Uh, big, oh. older churches Hello? can be pretty scary. What the fuck was that? It's a priest coming from the other side of the door. Could this be an exit? A locked door. There's a priest coming from the other side of the door. Is the door be an exit? Oh, I don't... What do, what do, what do I need? Uh... Where the fuck am I? Uh... Oh, the walkthrough is not helping me. Oh, I don't know what to oh. do. Oh no. Uh... Oh no, this the sacred texts are failing. Oh, I'm torn. There's a breeze coming from this side of the door. This door will be an exit. I don't- I don't have anything. Music box? Oh, I need to get the fuck out of here. I need a key. I need a key. Gravestone. Gravestone. Okay. Oh! I almost missed it. Weeding sickle here. Take weeding sickle. Yes. Got an item. Got a weeding sickle. Okay, I think I needed that. I think that was the thing I needed. Walk door. Breeze coming through the other side. Store be an exit. Weeding sickle. A lock door. Oh, cool. Okay, so that's not it. That's not what I need. Okay. Um. The walkthrough is not helping me. I do not know what I need. The sacred text. The sacred text. Mm, right the closest happy. I've had to religious trauma is the time I fell asleep in catechism. Ah, so you've never done Starvathon. Starvathon? Yeah, we basically, I, w I went to Catholic high school and we did a thing where we would, like, fast for, like, 24 hours. I get squirm and push around strong, rotten, sour stench overwhelming you right now. You roll up your sleeves and using the weeding sickle, you disturb the top layer of whatever sitting in the drum. File thick, almost solid, sludge, grainy like sand. You move around, careful not to get any maggots on your exposed wrist. You hit something solid. It's small in the center of the barrel. Does sickle even be able to grab such a small item? Toss the sickle away, replace it with your only remaining life source. Quickly before regret takes over, you dive a hand straight into the barrel. Gross, gross, gross. You do your best to ignore the creeping, filthy little movements entangled on your hand. Gross, 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 gross. Found a key. Got a catacombs key. Toss the key on the ground next to you. Wipe your hands free of any remaining anxiety and underlying feelings. Ugh. Gross. Washing my hands in the water immediately. Ugh. Damn, this really is a collide with Somebody the sky. Gut tells, you to f gut tells fights against you on this. You hesitate to open the door, so I can get murky water in your socks and shoes. Uh, uh, it's heavy, and the door frame looks heavily damaged. That's a breeze coming from the other side of the door. Must be an exit. Open the door. Oh! Okay. 
All right. All right. Low light catches everything behind the door. It's a closet, small and occupied with a foul odor. Your eyes follow an imaginary path downwards, taking in the space between you of what sits in the small space. Oh my god! You uh, on the side cast before you. The walls in this closet are made of pale flesh, tiny veins running along in uncertain patterns. Numerous body parts, internal and external, are seeping out of the flesh walls. There's an overwhelming stench like puke and organs mixed together, left to rot and get sour. I'm gonna puke. You dry heave and turn around, mindful to not drop your only light source. I need to get out of here. Safe progress. Great. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, yes, please. Please, 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 I'm going to save. Oh, I'm gonna save my progress so much. Oh, I hate it here. Oh, I hate this. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well. Uh, hated that. Hated that. Okay, well. This is why you need to salt your corpses, otherwise they start stinking up the place. Oh. Hello? Mortis. Oh, hey. That was the most peaceful death I've ever had in a video game like this. And he didn't even he just, have to eat a mackerel. Yeah, he just approached. Okay. Go go away. Oh, I can't. Like... What do I do? Ah! What do I do? Oh, God. Oh, wait. He followed me down here so I can... Oh. Oh. That means I can... Oh, God. Oh, I'm out. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, I'm leaving. Oh, you just took. Take the ladder. Wee. Mary. Guess you found out they keep the corpses, then. Uh. Okay. And we will not... Great. Fantastic. Wonderful. You run awesome. despite the difficulty in breathing as you run your notice in a new unrecognizable hallway. Cool! Awesome. Anime tits. Great. New ladder. Oh! Oh! Christ! How intense. I can't explain what just happened, but it's over now, right? I think I need to focus on what I came to do here. I can ask questions later. Hold on. Is this a window? It is! I can see trees and birds, but... I must be on the second or third floor, but where am I? There's a window here, but I thought I was underground. I hate that. He's built kind of like a Golden Kamui uh, OC. A little bit. Like, like like what? A Golden Kamui OC? Are my eyes? Hold on. Hey, yo. Let me look that up. Hold on. It's Leon! This is a framed uh, photograph of Leon. It's clearly Leon. You, so he did visit the church. How do you spell that, by the way? Uh, golden K A M U Y. Okay, I tried, spell, I tried spelling Kamui with an I, so that's on me. Um, hold on. You try to pick the object up. Ah, that hurt. Felt like. Oh. oh. That looks. That looks kind of cool, actually. You I've never seen this. Fingerprints and see Robert Red. My fingertips are. You try to wipe the blood off, but stop when abrupt pain hits. My fingerprints are gone. It's like the skin was just sliced off. When did this happen? Did it happen back in the catacombs? You make eye contact with the Leon photo in front of you. You grit your teeth and consider grabbing it. You grab it and pocket the item. You got nice. Ah, so now he's a member of the Men in Black. Also look up Golden Kamui Otter Meat. <laughs> Let's just find the Bible and get out of here for now. Uh, okay. Oh, suddenly. Ah. It's old men yowie. Something just bit my wrist? My wristwatch! The glass just shattered by itself? It's 809. Is it broken? Is this another trick my mind is playing on me? That's right, everything uh, I've witnessed, we need to grab Leon's Bible and get out of here. That is a lot of half-naked men, okay. Nibble. Oh, is this it? Yes, yeah, perfect, it's not even scratched. There is a man. Oh, hey. Um, there's a- there's a man. Not Leon's Bible. I have to clean the blood off my fingers when I get back to my motel room. Alright, let's leave before that guy comes back. I'm- I'm, I'm gone, dog. Was there an eye on that door? Yes, that was there before. Uh, cool. Sorry, I just joined the screen chair. You leave running out of the main basilica doors. You travel through the courtyard, then out of the blue walled history wall. You open the doors that can lead you back to the Rosso Town Square in your hotel room. You keep running, only thinking of sleeping in a warm bed. I got the Bible back! I got Leon's book back! Just keep running until you reach the hotel! 
You obtained one Bible black. Bible red, actually. Hmm? You cling to Leon's Bible, reassuring yourself it hasn't left you again. Run for a nice bed, wrapped in blankets, run to watch TV and smoke a cigarette. <gasps> ah! Not good. Not good. Not good at all. My head hurts worse now. <laughs> oh. Uh. Where am I now? Doc, am I dead? Okay. All I right. hate the pers- All okay. right. <laughs> oh, no, no. I hate the perspective that first room was in. Oh, I hate this. Because when I saw that first room, my immediate thought, because that perspective was a young man stands in his bedroom. It just so happens that today, at the 13th of April, 2009. No, stop. Jail. <laughs> I'm down this regular ladder. Wait. I see we're all traumatized. Got it. Okay. I. This is amazing visuals, by the way. I love the Oh, paintball. yeah. Oh, I. That is less amazing. I don't like that as much. I'd be too late to ask where I am. I don't like that as much. Well, that's dressing an animal. That's how to reload a gun. Centipede. Yeah, this is butchering deer. Projector, it's mm. automatically running. Projector shows a centipede crawling. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. We may be back on track here. Uh. Oh, God. Straightforward. Okay. Red curtains can be pulled back. Pull away the curtains, yes. Pull the curtains to reveal whatever's behind them. Uh. Me. <laughs> Me as fuck, dog. It's an image of Leon. Oh! What? You got red on you. Is this? Blood? That's uh You know, coupled with the gun the the gun imagery, I don't uh, uh hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh god, alright. Alright. Um, okay. No, sure. Huh? <sighs> Hello What in the Hello, mighty Mor man. what in the mighty morphin fuck are you? Riker Dublin. Uh-oh. Bro looks like he about to get them Power Rangers. Riker Dublin. Lucky numbers. Two, six, one, one. What? Riker Dublin. You are to trust I as I am to trust you. Lucky numbers. Two, six, one, one. What? Uh, you said that already. Okay. Everything is circled back to you. That is what they tell me. You're really freaky. Who are you? Wait, who told you about me? Where am I? A name does not serve any purpose to me, as I am made of multiple living creatures, all unique. Giving me one name would erase their identities. Sick as fuck! Be not afraid, headass. V very be not afraid, headass! What the fuck? They got I think I, wa I think I walked into the wrong blue beetle. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right. Sure, sure, I guess. Riker, do you wish to proceed? Are you prepared for the path ahead of you? What do you mean? If you proceed, you'll only be greeted with despair. Proceed now. Let me know. Ba 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 boop ba ba boop. Follow me. Side note, uh, what's be not afraid? Uh, it's what the um, it's what the angel said to uh, is it? Was it was it Mary or? Was it Ma yeah, it was Mary. They said to Mary when oh, they descended the upon her. They said, oh. they told her to oh. be not afraid. For forgive me, I'm well, not a member. The angels have to say that because visually they're terrifying. So it All wasn't right. just to Mary. I believe it was to someone else as well. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, thank scary. you for inform. 
Thank you for informing me. I'm not a member of the Jesus fandom, so I didn't know. Listen, I think it was from one of the apostles' mothers, I believe. Yeah. Usually, like, one of the it's it's truly one of the things. Like everyone talks about like biblically accurate angels and just makes them like the wheels. But like I I'm a big fan. One of the things that I love about this in particular, which is why I was so fascinated with it and wanted to play it so bad, was because I love that the book portrays like the Bibl like the like the uh, Judeo Christian like worship as like eldritch unknowable cosmic horror because it does and not enough shit does that not enough shit yeah, leads no, into the raw cosmic horror of like of the judeo-christian heaven i can help you so you are not entirely alone but i will not be with you for every morn moment as a warning there's an underlying reason why you seek revenge for leon you seem unfit for a priest correct you're not tricking me out of my plan that was not my intention. I am here to guide you for success. Thank you. Th thank you, strange man. It's an old projector. Be cautious and unafraid. Your fate was determined by another, but you can change it now. We play around with the projector trying to figure out how to turn it on. Be cautious and unafraid. You said that already. Riker, are you truly ready for what's to come? I will ignore you if you keep repeating yourself. The projector begins to make noise. What am I saying? It was made for you. I recognize these. These are my memories. This is all stuff from my past. You didn't know it during that time, but when you were born, your death was already predetermined. Isn't everyone's death predetermined? We all die in the end. Your death will not mimic those around you. That's awesome! <laughs> that line goes so hard. Your death will not mimic those around you. We're starting over. We're going to correct your fate. Did you happen to have any yogurt cake? You do? Size doesn't matter, but the smaller one would be easier to carry. It's for someone special. My friend's graduating, and it's also their birthday, so I wanted to surprise them. Thank you. It's difficult, but keep watching. There was something following your friend that day. Oh, really? Uh, what's that noise? Noise. Yeah, can't you hear that? Is it coming from the tape? It's starting to hurt my ears. What am I supposed to be hearing? Just keep watching. Who is that? Is... I can't hear you! Who's on the screen? Bossio Dante. The one that killed Leon. And he's tracking you down as we speak. Riker, before you go, I need to remind you of your inviolable identity. It repeats in my mind, so it must be true. You need to remember the sequence of numbers I'm about to tell you. Two, six, one, one. Tell me when you discover the answer. You got an item. Videotape two, three. All sounds suddenly stop, as if there was a switch that turned them off. Wait, is it raining? You aren't entirely sure what's going on. You tune into the sound of a car running. A car. All right, you were just hit, weren't you? Ah! The driver hits the brakes, causing both you and the stranger to smack your heads. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Both parties in unison groan in pain. It's the it's one of the queers from earlier. One of one of the one of the funny gay men. What a statement. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Is my dashboard dented? Oh no. Okay, thank goodness. Excuse me, uh hold on. It hurts to breathe. My ribs hurt like hell. Alright, oh, um. Super sorry. 
when you when you screamed, you scared me, so I hit. I thought you were dead too, so. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that must have hit you pretty good. Your bruises are starting to turn purple. Um, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, it didn't make my headache or my neck any better. Did I give you... Huh? Did I hurt your neck? So you were the one that really hit me. I'm surprised you're alive. I was going to drive you to the hospital, but... And you weren't responding, so how uh, come? Um, well... Hold on, I can't hear you that well. My hearing's a bit fucked right now. Huh? My head hurts so much. My nose and ears are bleeding like Christ. How hard was I hit with the car? Is my nose broken? You look at your hands. They're visibly shaking. That, or your eyes can't focus on the world around you is spinning. Hello? Hey. Can you heal me? What? I'm taking you to the hospital. Please don't. Even coughing hurts! You look miserable. Are you sure you don't want me to take you to the hospital? Um, I'm fine. You're bleeding and bruised. I don't have health insurance. I mean, I'm assuming foreigners pay for their own hospital bills here, even in an accident, right? Y yes, they'll expect you to pay. Are you going to sue me for the bills then? If I could afford a hospital, if I could afford a hospital bill, then I could afford a lawyer. He looks pale. Are you weak to blood? Yes. Oh wait, no way. This. Oh, oh wait, no way. This might sound crazy. I think I know who you are. Yes, it's coming back to me now. Yeah, see? The queers from earlier. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. You were not joking. Okay. Oh, so we have Don Quixote, Don Flamingo, and Satan from Utena. You was that tall guy who asked about the Basilica. That's why you were at the front gates. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the information. Do you believe in the You said Satan no? from Utena, and my body took a screenshot. <laughs> You almost died. It's a miracle you're even talking like now. I'm staying at the Magic Rabbit Motel. Please drop me off there. Earlier you were speaking in French, we? Right? Do you speak French too? I do not. It is very romantic language. Oh my god, please drop me off. No, trust me. I know it's complicated. I tried to learn it in high school. You speak our language nicely. Your accent doesn't hold me back. Stranger drives at a slow speed for some time. Eventually, you see the familiar motel neon lights in the distance. He pulls back into the parking lot. All right, you can get out now. I'm going to ask you to not press any charges. Really? Well, at least you weren't hit. It's too late. He shuts the door and for you and drives off. <laughs> Is everyone here an asshole? I mean, it's France, so... I almost forgot. Oh, we're not in France right now. Where are we? Something about 2611 or something? Yeah, oh my god. The the fucking, the tape, the fact that it looks like eyes. Gah! I love the visuals of that. Shit. It's so good! The visual direction. Dubuck! Dubuck, if you see this, your fucking visual direction is incredible! Immaculate! Insane, actually. Pretty sick, honestly. Pretty distinctly poggers of you and, uh... I you follow are you on Tumblr. You're really cool. You're Archie. You are true. You are truly Pog Champ. Is uh, that good? Right, must have stopped in this area. Lights are on, so he must be home. Oh, okay. So we're. Oh, we're this man now. Ducks. Hello. Where the fuck am I? Sometimes we say things as a joke, and then they become not jokes. <laughs> Me, ah, oh, fellow queers. And then they were roommates. And then they were, and then I was just right. Wow, cool. Oh my god, they were roommates. 
I mean, we already knew. Okay, so I so I am right. So they are German. Okay, so I have been doing the right accent. Um, also, that is so flamboyantly. Good. I wanted to. I was gonna say earlier. Uh, this is a reminder. We knew that there were queers in this game. Our main characters are they them. Oh, nice. Uh, hello. I was just about to think you guys weren't going to archive, and after all, the cleaning maids did too. Oh. Where's the second bottle? Uh, funny story. It was half full when I left my house, but by the time I left the neighborhood, it was empty. <laughs> so you were drunk diving. Mm -hmm. You're not the man. You're a bad man, Akarti. I also feel to see Vitorino with you. I went to go pick him up, but I got distracted by a hit and run and forgot about him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, wait. Hit and run? You didn't hit someone's car in my neighborhood, did you? Oh my god, no, wait, did you hit someone? They're fine. They won't even press charges. Yeah. <laughs> you love to hear it. Literally, I was about to make that exact joke! <laughs> so good. Anyways, we need to find a way to get Vitorino here. He's going to be pissed because you forgot about him. I'll call him a taxi. He's going to be so mad at you. I know, I know. Should I start drinking now before he arrives? Don't. That's not for tonight. Do you remember the number for... Vitorino! You're here. Hmm. I ran. Here, I brought the gift. That is... It looks appetizing. It, it looks was... kind of like yes, uh, the one in the tape. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, but it looks like Gabriel Mandela catalog. Well, that too, but yeah, and he's a priest. Just, a little bit. I do not have daddy issues. I am Papa's special fucking special boy. Special fucking boy. Sorry, you said Gabriel. My brain went over to Funny Rock. Carry on. It was fermented, on bread. It's going to feel great. Well, later. My chest is tight. He said no more. Fuck, I'm getting shaky too. I need a cigarette. She like help me. Can't properly light my cigarette. I can't feel my legs. Vitorino. Do you think this is going to kill me if I smoke a cigarette too? I don't know. Just don't swallow the cigarette. Maybe I'm still worked up from the hit and earlier. What's this? Oh, I didn't get to finish that. Your hands feel disconnected from your arms in an attempt to grab cigarettes. The contents from your pockets collect on the floor. Oh? Blood! Akardi, what are these? Akardi, what did you bring into my house? Stop! Stop, stop, stop! Oh my gosh! I'm so embarrassed. I saw lots of red. No, I don't want to see it. I'll get an appetite. <laughs> you freak. Get a lot of this, Vittorino. You know? I got the had a hit and run and took pictures of the body. It could be framed for a holiday photo. What a strange lad. What a strange friend we have. <laughs> stop, I'm going to feel bad. Let me see. Oh. Wow. I know this guy. They left their cigarettes at the Basilica. They don't even recycle. And they don't recycle! Oh wait, I don't recycle. I'm so high I can't feel my fingers anymore. Performative activism at its finest. <laughs> don't worry, they're like homeless, they can't sue me. <laughs> homeless, huh? That sucks. Didn't even mention the best part. You should notice the red stripes on that sweater? You think it was meant to be? Literally no one cares about that sweater, Ricardo. Damn, alright, fuck. Red for filth. Mm -hmm. It's dark. And powerful light from above shines on you. Hello? Hello? Are you Riker Dublin? Hello? 2611? I hear several voices, but can't see anyone around me. 
Hello? Is someone there? Hello? 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 Can you tell me what's going on? When you awake, there will be four knocks at the door. Don't open the door, as you would be inviting him inside. Do not let him in. Don't let who in? Huh. I'm in bed. The air is stuffy and uncomfortably warm. Painfully familiar smell creeps into the room. The mixture of sea salt and campfire. Turn over on your back and a sense of dread hits you. Like a lit fire, doused in gasoline, anxiety builds up in your chest and it makes you want to scream. Leon's jacket? A sharp tugging pain holds you against the bed until you rip free and grab the coat. <laughs> it's cold at the touch. His smell lingers inside the coat. Every added patch, rip, stain, and sign of wear is still here. Your fingers carefully trace the buttons. You won't let go of it. You fall back on the bed, engulfed by the blankets and sheets that twirl around you. But you keep falling. The sheets around you extend longer and longer. The walls disappear, leaving you in a dark void. Cold water hits you. Feels like you're falling backwards into a pool. You look away for a second, and immediately Leon's jacket vanishes. You watch the waves rise above you, and then close your eyes, waiting for the water to drag you under. Ugh. Was I just dreaming? I don't even remember what I dreamed about. I'm surprised I'm alive right now. I'm still having some chest pains, though. I think that's a great place to stop! Oh my lord. Uh, yeah, so wow. That happened. Honestly, uh... What amazing imagery for my for my debut on here. Amazing. Thank you, Heaton. You're welcome. I I love um the surrealism that's happening here. It's pretty Oh no, hug. yeah. It actually is very much like in line with some of my favorite horror visuals cuz I love when horror shit gets like freaky deaky with the visuals. Like I just love when it like you know, does the does the creepy shit, you know. It's rad. You know what I mean? Uh <laughs> You know what I mean. I think you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm oh, yeah. going to... Oh, you know what? Before we... Actually, before we stop... Uh, yeah? We'll... Uh, we'll watch the... We're gonna watch the TV? Okay. This game makes me dizzy. It does... Me too, but not physically. Video tape player here. Here you can play many VHS, VHS tapes you find. Now play the video tape two three. Do you want to watch it? I do. We'll watch this before we end. Rewinding the tape. Some of the audio is difficult to make out. Whoever filmed this, their voice in this video becomes lost in the disorganized mess of audio. One day, my father and I went hunting. It rained heavily the night before, and the sky was still dark. That day, I had issues with paranoia. Every step we took felt like another unseen force was doing the same behind us. I was sick with paranoia, as thoughts and doubts from were already infesting my brain. I suddenly got separated and lost. There, I saw a creature, a beast, that was as tall as the aspen trees with the body of a deer but the head of human arms. Dad? I'm lost! Please help me! Dad! There's someone following us! I called out to him. He found me, and I felt so relieved. He called out my name, and I ran for him. Scared and trying to run, I slipped on the mud. Scared and trying to run, I slipped on the mud from the rain and shot my father in the head by accident. I was petrified. And then, just as suddenly, I felt nothing. I was hit with a wave of numbness. Or comfort. I still don't know to this day. I went home. I told. 
I tracked our father's blood into the house. Couldn't cope. Became permanently blind by his trauma. I examined his eyes. They were perfectly functioning. Before this, his vision would vary depending on the state of his mental well-being that day. But now, because of this, he convinced himself he was blind. But I wanted to help him make up for the trauma I'd caused. I wonder if that has something to do with the the surgical records we found in the basilica. Hmm. Maybe. Because we found in the medical records that there were those operations on that kid uh, who couldn't see. So I'm wondering, Maybe they're con the, I'm wondering if that's the same kid. Maybe they're connected. They could be connected. They could be the same kid. Huh. It's likely. Um... Jeez, this is really interesting. This has a really cool vibe. I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. Like I said, it's got my favorite kind of horror visuals where they get all weird and experimental and they fuck with your head. It's great. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the the weird surrealism that's happening right now. Um, sick as hell. It's sick as fuck. Uh, but for now, let's see where I'm going to send you. Uh, Ratchet's on, reviewer's on. I will, you know what? I'm going to send you over to Sophie. Oh, I love Sophie. So, so, Sophie. Our dearest Dolly is playing Fallout. She's playing New Vegas. So we'll send nice. you... We'll send you over to our dear Dolly. So, so I got Sophie. Spur I got spurs. So tomorrow... We're back at Ad Infinitum. Wait, uh, we're back at what? We're playing Ad Infinitum tomorrow. Uh, and then Thursday, we'll be doing artwork again. Oh, sick. Uh, but for now, I'll see all of you later. Goodbye! Bye, chat. Catch you later.